What's good, YouTube? Ryan Babs here, back with another vlog. For those of you interested in personal finance, investing, men's lifestyle, or fitness, just be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, it's day two of my new job. 5.45 in the morning. I tried getting up at 4.45, and I was like, what the heck am I getting up this early for? I'm just gonna be next week. We get up that early because we start back. We start back school next week, so we're gonna be using our early mornings for um, grad school and homework and stuff like that. So I'm about to hop in the shower. And I'm gonna try to make breakfast and meal prep. Me and Haley at lunch, and then we'll see where we're at from there. But I'm about to hop in the shower, guys. All right, guys, I'm sitting in traffic. I was gonna stop, but come and go to get me an energy drink because I'm feeling tired. I didn't get home from work till like 10.30 last night and um, woke up 24.45 and like 5.45. I just kept hitting the snooze button, but I officially got out of bed at 4.45. Um, this morning was fucking rough. Excuse my language, but uh, I cuss all the time on YouTube. Why'd I say that? <laughs> so this morning was a trip because I tried meal prep and lunch for me and Haley. And um, what happened? Uh, my oven. So I tried. I was baking. I like bake. I baked the chicken when I meal prep. I don't have a grill, so I'm not gonna go outside and grill it at like six o'clock in the morning. I could do that, but I don't have a grill. I don't have that luxury. So. Uh, I ended up, so I would prefer to bake it. Well, I, so I preheat the oven to 425. I was gonna put it in there for 23 minutes, like I always do. Well, next thing I know, the smoke detector's going off. I'm like, okay, great. Uh, now what do I do? So I'm like, you know what? Let me just go to the stove. Turn the stove on, smoke detector goes off again. I'm like, what the is going on here? So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. So today for lunch, she's going to her grandparents' house. I'm just gonna eat, um, a big ball of rice and for breakfast I had a bagel and an apple and I'm still kind of hungry so um, I guess I'm kind of going vegetarian or vegan today uh, at least for now so I don't know what in the world so then, and then now let me tell you that next part because my sleeves a little stained I don't know if y'all can see it but my sleeves a little stained because the neighbor's dog escaped from the backyard it's a pit bull puppy they got two of them well, one of them escaped from the backyard and was running around my yard, so I had to go put it back, and it got its paws on my sleeve, so then I put it back over the fence, it runs right back out. So I'm like, all right, you know what, I'm just gonna be late for work dealing with this. So now we're here, but I'm on the way to work, just sitting in traffic. Um, so I will see you guys probably at lunch. Um, hoping I have a question or three to answer. If not, then we'll do it at five. But if we don't have any questions, I'll just probably show y'all my fantasy lineup for the week. So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Learning how to do billing today. I'm in the car eating my big ass bowl of rice because y'all thought I was playing about that. But I just threw some Caribbean jerk season on there. It's actually pretty fire. Um, I'm going to sit in the car, eat my rice, watch chase's youtube video i don't have any questions and for some reason my boss from my district coach at taco bell wants me to call her for some reason i don't know why um hopefully it's nothing crazy after yesterday it was yesterday just made me mad but um hopefully everything is all right with that so i'm gonna call her see what she needs and i'm gonna sit here and try to enjoy my lunch so um Gonna sit here, enjoy this rice, watch some YouTube, and take her his phone call. And if it goes, I'll let you know how that phone call goes. All right, guys, work day is officially over with. So for today, we are going to go over my um, Robinhood portfolio, how we did today. I did receive a dividend, so we're gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna go with my fantasy lineup. And then on the way home, I'm gonna talk about uh, talk about the topic of the day which um, I got a couple of ideas in mind. So um, I think we're gonna talk about how to 
uh, keeping good at keeping employees at work that had to go in earlier with my phone call from my boss anyway so let's go ahead and hop into fantasy and then we'll hop into Robin Hood all right so this week I'm playing Andrew Lopez financial podcast um, he's another youtuber shout out to Nicole Byron for this league but let's go to my team so this week I'm playing I got Tom Brady Michael Thomas Mike Evans Mark Ingram, Jonathan Taylor. I have Miles Sanders um, starting initially, but I'm going to, I don't know how that's going to go with Jacksonville's, uh, not Jacksonville, with Washington's D line. I think Jack, we all know Jacksonville's just tanking, so that's why I went with that matchup. We got Zach Ertz at the tight end spot. Keenan Allen uh, playing as my flex and then my bench. We have, like I said, we have Miles Sanders, Deshaun Watson, some guy from the Raiders, some tight end. Will Fuller, Jared Judy, Marvin Jones, kickers, Greg Zerline, and um, we got the Bears defense against Detroit. That's what I'm rocking with in fantasy this week. Now let's go to Robin Hood. So in Robin Hood, today was a really green day. Not really green, but it was green, which I'm happy with. Apple was up. Disney was up. Everything was essentially up today, which I'm happy about. Uh, for anybody who's investing, get on the AT&T at that price. I think ExxonMobil's at a decent price, but I got to look into what's going on with them. So we did receive a dividend payment from Johnson & Johnson today. Um, we received a dollar and two for a dollar and two for owning one point whatever shares and we see 0 0.006 more shares at an average price of 148.32 which is good all right so i'm driving home and i really i was telling you know what we're not going to talk about the employee thing today because i don't want the wrong person watching that part of the video so pretty much what i wanted to talk about today which this was killing me yesterday was the um was my work ethic and how it is and how i'm going to get this house i know my nose ring is ass backwards but that doesn't really matter but so pretty much like the mindset i'm going to with this whole house thing is i gotta have the mama mentality and I, growing up i really wasn't a big kobe fan and then uh after he passed away is whenever i really started getting to kobe i know it's bad but I, that's when i started getting to kobe and studying his mind and um his mindset and what the mama mentality really was and that's pretty much how it is with this whole personal finance journey, getting debt free, buying this house, buying invest, like investing in stocks. Um, like you have to be laser focused in on it in order for you to get to where you wanna go. And no matter how hard it is each and every day, you know and you might not see the results immediately, but it will pay off. That's why like being, but being an athlete, I think it's a big thing. Every rep counts. Every everything counts and right now with this house every penny counts i have to nickel and dime my way through this thing to get to where i need to be and i'm not i'm not afraid of the work and i'm all for it and then the whole thing happened today with my big boss and um she's not that's 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 whenever that happens it's discouraging so um i'm gonna have, i'm just gonna have to overcome and push through that and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. But we're going to, I'm going to figure out a way to get this house. Um, it will be done. Just got to have the mama mentality way to get there. And by the way, um, I was going to get the Kobe like logo tattooed on me. Um, like on my, like right on my, not on my heel, but right below my calf or something. Um, just to signify that mama mentality and having that mindset. Um, but anyways, guys, driving home. I don't know what I got planned for the night. I know I'm not working, thank the Lord. Um, because yesterday I got in trouble for working. Um, so hopefully we can go do what we were supposed to do yesterday, today. If not, we gotta go home, eat dinner. Hopefully my, oh, my oven doesn't try to catch on fire. My stove doesn't catch on fire so we can actually cook something. And um, we'll figure it out. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And as far as these daily vlogs, I'm trying to figure out a way to bring good value, bring some kind of value to the channel aside from just what I've been doing. 
because um, I started YouTube initially wanting to be a vlogger. I want to get back into that, but I just don't want to say, oh, I went to work today, blah, 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 blah. I want to just figure out ways to throw some kind of value in there and to shed some light on some things, maybe just talk about whatever, because at the end of the day, this is an outlet for me to be creative or talk to you guys or whatever you whatever it is. But anyways, guys, I'm heading home. Um, if you enjoy, smash the like button. Let me know what y'all think of my fancy lineup, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.